overall if you calculate for the last 15 years mm. i'm just looking at 15 year window we are talking about 15 lakh women mm. who have got very good pedigrees education wise mm. and who have uh, taken a break due to work that life that's your reasons. market basically that's our focus group and you're perhaps the do you have a competitor here in this i not that i'm aware of because we talk about career sustainability mm. and i don't think so there's don't any other organization you're unique in that your, that's your usp that's basically a niche. yes that's a niche okay so also uh, sandarya i mean in your case you've had a supportive family you mentioned your husband the role he played the supportive yes, role rajesh right. that he played in your life and also i think today behind many successful women Contrary to popular belief, there is also a mother-in-law. Very true. Uh, your mother-in-law, I think, also helped you yes. with uh, capital to set this up. You're very right. Well, how much capital did you set this up? It was uh, her money, 60,000 rupees. Okay. That uh, really was the first money that we invested here. We okay. used it to pay the rental advance. Okay. In our previous office, which is a small thousand square feet building. Okay. Now, of course, in the 10 years, you know, we've been fortunate enough to come here. Mm. This is our own office. Mm. And we've been, you know, we've just moved in three months ago. So, in here. 10 years, you've bought your own office. In yes. God's grace. So we've been able to do that. What is your revenue to. model like? Can you give me some numbers about the, your growth trajectory so far? Yeah, the revenue model is such that, you know, we uh, the clients are the ones who pay us. So mm. it's not the candidate. Okay. So it's not the woman seeking a, a career after a break. It's mm. not the other talent It's not strategy. that typical commission basis Correct. sort of it's not uh, that. Yeah. It's not that. Mm. So what we also do is we do a lot of uh, uh, providing information, being a regular so what SME. Is the, what, is it, uh, what is the ratio? I mean, when, a when you, let's say, recruit somebody for a client, yeah. uh, they, they pay you one month salary of the it, candidate? It varies because this is a very different model. So mm -hmm. it's not based entirely only on the... You could also be a retainer for it a It could also be a retainer. Okay. I was talking to you about Thomson Reuters, entirely retainer. on a retainer basis. Okay. For a few other companies, we provide two distinct services. We provide uh, one service where we create a flexible work environment for them. Mm. We have probably India's first flex work process mm. called FlexSecurity. Mm -hmm. which basically provides career security to the flexi working individual. Mm -hmm. Sanjay, you were asking me, you know, why is it that a lot of women, you know, are hesitant mm. about doing the whole flexi working thing, even though that's the only option they have. Mm. The fact is that, you know, they are looked upon a little bit differently at the workplace. Why? So when we do the evangelization, we are not just doing it to the corporates to say, you know, hire these women. We also have to tell them, don't set them up to fail. Mm. Make sure they succeed. And why is that? Because when you work part-time or flexi-time, you're seen as if your commitment to the organization is only 50%. So That's you right. obviously, you know what, you already have a mind at home, you already have a foot in the house. Mm. So, you know, you're, you're not going to be uh, doing the same kind of work that, you know, everybody mm. else, uh, the, that kind of load bearing is not going to happen in your case. Do you, do you also mentor people here? Yes, we do. Now, why is that you then, uh, you know, you only help them find jobs, flexi or otherwise? Why is that you don't really, or do you train them to start, come up with their own startup ventures? Do you uh, do that? We recently, very recently, and it's, it's strange you should ask me this. Just about uh, two weeks ago, we ran these sessions called the Segway sessions. Mm. Uh, the Segway is a nice word, which basically is an opera word, I'm mm. sure you'd know, which basically means that interim background music between two pieces mm. in an opera. So that's the life stage that many women are in. Mm. They are in a Segway. Mm. They're between, say, motherhood, and career, they're between say career and motherhood mm. or they're between full time working and part time working or they are between a job and no job. Mm. So they are in that segue area. So we ran these segue sessions and this need came up very strongly. Mm. Up till now we've never mentored entrepreneurs. Mm. We've only mentored women who've taken a break. We've mentored women who you know want to get back after a longish break. But we've never gone into the entrepreneur area. So now you're even open to, uh, yes. you're the, you started the process of grooming Soundaryas. Absolutely. Oh, many more okay. Soundaryas. I was about to say more entrepreneurs, but you're <laughs> saying this. In, in your yeah. case, I want to go back to your personal uh, you know, life and how you actually fought many odds. One, of course, we said that, you know, that, you know the, normal, uh, the normal sort of customary thing where somebody gets married and then they have children and then they have forced <laughs> to take a break. After maternity leave, it extends, people extend their maternity leave. In your case also there was, you, you know, I, I read that you, you lost your voice for, for a while. What yes. exactly happened? How long was this? Yeah. How did you overcome this? Yes. Uh, well, um, I hear today, and that's a disturbing trend, Sanjay, that many women go through this problem mm -hmm. where they have this vocal cord infection. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. Is it because of stress? Is it due to basic you know, lifestyle changes? Or is it because you're raising a child and you're doing too many things mm -hmm. and you tend to use your voice more? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But in my case, it so happened that there was a particular uh, you know, infection sort of thing on my vocal cords. Mm -hmm. 
and it refused to go away mm. in spite of repeated uh, you know treatment and then so for a while almost it would be i would say for about a year a little more than a year i lost complete uh, uh, you know use of my voice which means i had to only speak in a hoarse manner mm. and uh, when i used to pick up the phone when my mother called she wouldn't recognize me she would say uh, can you give the phone to saundarya and i would say ma it's me speaking because my voice was changed so horribly mm. terribly and i used to have to use my diaphragm to actually make the same noises that we do using the vocal cords mm-hmm. so it was a problem but at that point of time i think both the team you know at work and my husband and children at what stage did this happen this happened just as soon as we started off avatar in december okay so it was like a, in 2000 yes in 2000 okay so it was a uh, you know it so was a challenge blow when you actually took that Correct. first uh, bearing step yes what about in your case you've been fortunate enough to have a supportive family not just husband but also mother in law yes you're right uh, but uh, what about those women who are battered uh, those who are single breadwinners perhaps husbands who live off their income this happens is quite common in india uh, you know how do you, how do how should they actually cope with the situation what would you like to tell them um i think uh, as far as india is concerned i think it's the question of the woman feeling that you know she can take that battery mm. i think that's a that's a sociological problem i think it's a sort of a, a feeling that's embedded in our collective unconscious for the women mm. to say that you know it's it's fine that you know this should happen to me mm. i have to put up with it i am uh, uh, you know after all uh, 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 a woman who has to bear this sort of a thing you know that feeling is there that actually can change when the woman becomes empowered mm. and that empowerment comes not just from education which is what we feel you mm. know we constantly say let's educate that's not just about uh, Your you know empowerment you're really going to put food on the table correct what would help is if society were to accept mm. that she has to be playing multiple roles mm. that she will have to be a stakeholder of different types of things mm. and she has to be given a situation where she can come back mm. see the fact is that a woman's career mm. has to be like a series of chapters mm. it cannot be something that's you know just one lateral linear sort of a movement okay so, and also talking of your team you've got some yes. trusted lieutenants uh, yes uh, uma shankar is right Hi. here uh uma shankar is co-founder LinkedIn. of uh, you're not on uh, facebook is it uh, ma shankar no <laughs> yeah you know, i must tell you that okay that's good you don't ban facebook yeah <laughs> no good sensible facebook thing facebook is allowed because facebook is one of the ways we connect with all our women okay i'll also let you into a secret <laughs> your boss Yeah. was on facebook chat during working hours and that's how this interview was fixed so so you you can Sanjay. you can be sure that it wasn't uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> see that's a way of business so that's mm. the reason now we are here mm. see apparently we talk about facebook see now in fact as we speak you know i am actually typing a advertisement let's mm. have a look at it mm. you give them that operational freedom really i mean which is important today and if if only there were more people who would actually give their uh, their colleagues operational freedom Uh, people wouldn't really leave okay i can see another there's a book the facebook effect okay <laughs> this is where it's oh, coming from we are all surrounded by facebook it's omnipresent and omnipotent you know what i i'm i'm fond of always referring to google as god hmm. i i really think that you know if google had a a, a form and you know, and i'm not talking about you know uh, larry and sergey and all of them hmm. I'm talking about the whole Google concept. Mm. You know, I would I would just do namaskar to it. You know what? <laughs> so uh, on Teachers Day, of. on Teachers Day, I found interesting wall posts on Facebook where uh-huh. people said, "Happy Teachers Day, Google! You taught me all I know." <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. I completely relate. And to also that. giving. I mean, in terms of, I, I know you go to a lot of places. You also ad, uh, uh, address the Hillary Clinton plenary session. Yes. What last year? What yes, was this about? Yes, that was last year. This is called Vital Voices, mm-hmm. and it's basically a forum for women across the world. and in fact this forum was specific to i think asia so we had people from japan china we had first generation entrepreneurs and it was fortunate that i got you know chosen to talk at the plenary session mm. because they felt that this whole concept of career sustainability and flexibility is something that should get that kind of a center stage mm. how do you see yourself growing in the next next 10 years every one of those 15 lakh women we must make them employable we must make them economically productive again sanjay mm. that's really the vision so it's a social enterprise so just like you know lijat mahila griha udyog or hmm. amul we are a so you you are a sort of a, a, a sort of a self help group with a corporate uh, sort of vision you said it you okay. said it that's exactly who we are www.avtarivin.com and in that women exchange ideas they say you know what there's a 
a job opportunity over here i checked it out i'm not sure if i'm interested in it would you like to check it out mm. there is no money in it for avatar mm. but the fact is that there's another career being created at that point of time wonderful and a pleasure talking to you and more Same strength here. more power to you to thank avatar you. And, uh, and to the various roles that you're playing really thank you thank and you very best much. wishes for you to find many more interviews on facebook absolutely thank you <laughs> you chat thank you thank you so much uh, sounds like a lot Well, like perhaps uh, the unofficial tagline of Avatar, I was just wondering, could also be, convert your stumbling blocks into stepping stones.